published 1614 est the 18th of november 2017 updated 1924 est the 18th of november 2017 jerry adams has announced he will step down as president of sinn fein in 2018 the irish republican who has campaigned during his political career for a united ireland announced his intention to relinquish his role at the dublin zardes conference his announcement signals the end of a 34-year political career he said he will not seek election to the Irish Parliament, the Doylearian. Gerry Adams has announced he will step down as president of Sinn Féin in 2018. The 69-year-old, who has been the party's president since 1983, announced there would be a special meeting next year to help elect a successor. The TD for Conlaud said at the annual conference leadership means knowing when it is time for change and that time is now. During his speech, Jerry Adams said his former longtime colleague and Martin McGuinness had made plans to step away from the party. He said 10 years after entering government with Ian Paisley, Martin's intention was to step down as Deputy First Minister on May 8. Then life punched us in the face with Martin's passing. He added Martin was a leading member of our leadership team. I have been enormously privileged to be part of an amazing and evolving collective leadership. Adams also added his own imminent resignation from the party was part of a formulated plan to help with the progression of Sinn Féin. Part of the transition has seen Michelle O'Neill, 40, take over the reins as the party's leader at Stormont. Sinn Féin President Jerry Adams raises his fist after delivering his speech during the 2017 Sinn Féin Ard Fierce Martin McGuinness left and Jerry Adams right at the Sinn Féin Ard Fierce. November 2, 1985 Jerry Adams looks solemn after delivering his speech at the Sinn Féin Conference. Sinn Féin leader Jerry Adams attends the funeral of an IRA volunteer as officers of the Garda since 1983, Adams has gone before the Ard Fierce to seek re-election and he was duly anointed again by the party faithful, but upon announcing his decision to not stand for the role next year, he said I want to thank everyone who has welcomed me into their homes and communities and have made me part of countless campaigns, countless elections and countless negotiations. He received rapturous applause from the aunts, adding we are going to continue to go forward, charismatic, tough and articulate. Adams, the bearded leader of the Iris political wing Sinn Féin, was a hated figure for many Protestants in Northern Ireland during the province's three-decade-long troubles. But he is credited with eventually convincing the IRA to give up their armed campaign and use purely political means to pursue the aim of uniting Northern Ireland with the Republic of Ireland. Born in Belfast on October 6, 1948, Adams came from a staunch Republican background. His father was an IRA man who was jailed for eight years for his role in an ambush. As a teenager, Adams became involved in the 1960s Catholic civil rights movement seeking to end discrimination, favoring the pro-British Protestant majority. He married Colette McArdle in 1971 and had one son, Geroid, born two years later. Adams was interned without trial in 1972 and 1973. In the early years of the Troubles, the 30 years of violence in which 3,500 people d. He was charged with IRA membership in 1978, but the case was dropped due to insufficient evidence. Adams always publicly said he was never an IRA member. Malachi O'Doherty, author of Jerry Adams and Unauthorized Life, told AFP he is committed to preserving the reputation of the IRA. O'Doherty believes Adams was an IRA member but was always more politically than militarily inclined. Credit AFP.